Hi everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Deco TV or live with Deco TV. Uh, I'm Claudia. I do product development here at Deco Created and here at Deco Created we are all things solutions for seasonal everyday and home decor. So uh, thanks for joining me. I see a lot of you joining me. Wave, say hello, give me some hearts so I know you guys are there. Uh, hey Robin, hey Julie. So Julie will be in the comments. So um, if you guys have any questions, she'll answer them really quickly. Hey Maze. So today, if you saw the title, it's home decor styles. And what's your style? What even like is the difference between some of these home styles? And this is really helpful for deco created and for me as a product developer to understand what the consumer and what you guys are thinking and what you guys think about home styles and when i mean home styles i'm talking about our favorite like farmhouse or modern farmhouse or boho or modern glam we all have a style and if we're all home decor addicts like i am and how i hope most of you are um then we definitely tr love to say that we're this or that. So let's have a conversation about it. Um, and I wanna go off the first question here. So hello, mama wants to know. Um, so my first question to everyone here, and I want everyone to answer it, which is what is your home style or what do you think? And let me be really specific. What do you think your home style is right now when you look around your home and knowing a little bit about home styles or maybe you know a ton about it? What is your home style? Put it in the comments below and then let's talk about that. Let's talk about the differences between these styles when it comes to colors, materials, prints, um, bigger stuff like finishes in your home not just the home decor but the finishes in your home right so lighting um maybe the way your uh kitchen is finished cabinets sinks okay so we have robin says farmhouse but i don't know anything and i think a lot of people feel this way right you think maybe this is what i like um i go to the stores and we see a bunch of stuff that you love and maybe you love a little bit of everything i see Madison says boho, uh, Southern Belle says vintage farmhouse, um, Mama wants to know says modern farmhouse, I see a lot of vintage farmhouse, modern farmhouse, transitional, that's a good conversation to have right there, so let's talk about that, and then I see Mara says uh, boho and modern farmhouse, I see, I do you know, it's interesting. I see a lot of the vintage farmhouse, which is good because I want to talk about that farmhouse and modern farmhouse. They feel the same, but there are some slight differences and I'm going to show you some examples. I actually have two examples behind me right now. You're seeing my version of farmhouse here in the studio. So it says it's just Mahi says mine is chaotic. Yep. Maybe a lot of us feel that way. Danny says, uh, Danny DeFranco says, modern farmhouse and some boho. So those are great combinations. Uh, Jacqueline says, eclectic farmhouse and French country. So I'm gonna give you mine. Mine, I've transitioned through the years. And being a home decor developer, maybe it feels a little bit easier for me to just make these decisions throughout the years. When I first moved out on my own, I started with Ikea furniture. Maybe a lot of us do that. So it was like dark espresso furniture, right? And I was doing a lot of vintage sort of cottage shabby chic. I thought I was going to stay that way forever. I was like, I love this. I love shabby chic. I love cottage. I probably would have transitioned into farmhouse and modern farmhouse if that's, you know, the way I was heading. And then as I moved to a new apartment, I was like, wait, I think I like mid-century modern too. And maybe that's difficult for a product developer because I like everything, to be honest. I do like a little bit of everything. So in my new apartment, I have modern, uh, mid-century modern furniture. So I stuck with a furniture in a very specific home style. 
Um, so like if you think of like West Elm, rejuvenation, that kind of stuff, then um, in decor is where I like to mix in a little bit of everything. So I definitely have wood trays, which you would say is farmhouse. I have uh, woven baskets made of rattan that could be boho. And then I still like to stick to like my vintage pieces, which are, you know, a farmhouse look. So like a lot of uh, vintage brass pieces that I keep around. So that's another conversation too, like what kind of finishes and metals do you like in your home? Is everything all black metal finishes? Do you like a little bit of gold? Just depends, right? And let me know in the comments, I'm gonna keep looking. So Mama Wants to Know says, it is actually okay to mix styles in one home, for sure. And that's what I'm saying right now, like in my home, I feel like there's a mix. And if I like a particular item and people are labeling it as farmhouse, I don't care. I'm going to bring it home and I'm going to style it my way and you can make it your own. But I do want to get down to some specifics just so that we can, not that I'm telling you what to do, so that we understand what we're seeing in the marketplace, right? We all go to Target, we go to Home Goods. you guys are getting decorated boxes and, you know, this is good feedback for us. In surveys, we ask you what your home style is because we want to curate these boxes to the majority of what people are answering, right? So we're somewhere between modern farmhouse and farmhouse. And I'm going to explain what that is in the product developer interior design world. And so these are not rules that are set in stone. Obviously we like what we like and we bring anything to our home. So farmhouse, the origin of farmhouse, whether you call it classic, vintage, rustic, that is a, historical like American style it comes from the old farmhouse from back you know the early settlers um where it mimics and looks like days past so things that are vintage that are weathered uh we're talking about you know home accents that maybe used to be something else like repurposing something like a gate you know, some of us uh, repurpose doors, you know, and use that as home decor, vintage doors. That's a lot of what the farmhouse look is. Um, it incorporates a lot of natural wood. So we are talking about shiplap. So it's wood on our walls, wood floors, a lot of furniture with wood, a lot of butcher block in the kitchen. Uh, so plenty of natural wood. And um, in the kitchens, we're talking about apron sinks, right? We're talking about um, in home accessories, you know, some vintage things, things with, you know, weathered looks. And in fabrics, we're talking about plaid, checkered, some florals, um, maybe a neutral paisley. So, you know, things that are soft, vintagey, and a, you know, farmhouse look, right? What is the difference? So you're gonna start hearing Deco Creative talk a lot about modern farmhouse and I just wanna make sure that we're all on the same page and that we, you guys see these boxes and the items that start coming in and say, okay, well, I see where she means modern farmhouse and um, how you can incorporate this to, to your farmhouse home. So if you're a farmhouse, you're still thinking about coziness, the modern farmhouse is starting to clean up those woods a little bit. So still some wood, not too much weathered wood, or not at all, right? Like nice and clean woods. Uh, right now, depending on the trend, the woods might be on the lighter side. Um, we also, I'm gonna show you my second entryway that's right here in just a second. It also talks about like smoother lines. So maybe not so much of, um, like distressed or barn doors or that kind of stuff that is weathered, uh, smooth lines, glossy accents, neutral color schemes. So a lot of black, a lot of neutral, a lot of, you know, black and white, trying to make the space look more fresh. And I'm going to show you an example of that in photography so that we're like, oh, I see the difference now, right? In kitchens, we're talking about stainless steel, you know, Appliances, ground, you know, granite countertops, a more sleek sink. And um, my favorite part 
that has been added to Modern Farmhouse is the minimal minimalist industrial touches. So like industrial style lighting, um, maybe furniture that has more of an industrial look. So it's clean black metals that are more minimalist. Um, let me check in with y'all because my comments are not. Okay, so Robin says, maybe I'm transitional. So transitional, I've seen it come up a couple times here and transitional to me is classic that as the name transitions throughout the years so we're talking about classic furniture um still those vintage home accents because something like a weathered ceramic vase or a clay vase um those kinds of accents they live on forever things that are vintage um are still can be very classic and transitional um very homey very cozy and very like white and you know uh, minimal woods not so much wood uh, which maybe is a version of modern farmhouse so i want to show you all a photo that shows two different uh living areas and one is clearly a farmhouse and one is clearly modern farmhouse and you're gonna see the difference right now so i have it here in the tablet so this one right here is clearly farmhouse we're talking about reusing these crates coziness right here with the blankets and the uh, throw pillows some typography we have exposed um, shelving with a lot of vintage items in here and what this is saying to me is has a lot of wood tones um, it feels really cozy you know really rustic but if i transition over here you'll see that this is a modern farmhouse space. The lines are much cleaner. It looks more airy. It still has some wood right here with the coffee table, but it brings in the black metal, uh, white couches, black sh shelving, a black plain um, mirror right here on the fireplace and minimal accents. It still brings in some of these woven materials and we're gonna talk about those woven materials so out of let's call farmhouse picture a and modern farmhouse picture b and put in the comments if you guys are an a or a b based on this photo maybe it's not that that this is what your home looks like right now but if this is what you wish your home could look like a lot of us wish our home look up oh, more like one of these two homes right here so tell me if you are an A, farmhouse, B, modern farmhouse. And, you know, or if it's an aspirational thing, like if it's something that you are wanting to get to little by little, changing your furniture, you know, really dissecting this photo is important and figuring out how you get there. So I see a lot of Bs, right? So B is the modern farmhouse. But in the beginning of our conversation, did anybody who answered B in the beginning answer farmhouse as their style? Did anybody feel like they were a A but want to be a B? Let me know in the comments because I, you know, this is where everything is heading, right? Like if we walk into Target and we look at Studio McGee, if we look at Magnolia uh, or Hand and Hearth, like, you know, everybody is heading towards this style. And I would say that Studio McGee, somebody had mentioned transitional, is a perfect like example of transitional home decor. Um, and yeah, Debbie says she's a combination of both. And that is, listen, I also wanna show, and maybe this resonates more with some of you, this living room right here. How many of you resonate with this living room, which I would consider these two photos to be farmhouse right so give me a heart if you resonate with this visual right here of this living room and if you do but you also answered b then we have to start like figuring out how do we transition to that little by little um, how do we, you know, change some furniture pieces? Those are the bigger investments. Maybe it's one furniture piece 
Um, so remember, give me a heart if you resonate with the living room here, but you also answered B, which is your dream living room, right? A modern farmhouse. What I personally did on my own in my home to transition is that I would buy a furniture piece of my dreams once a year or once every six months, depending on the cost, right? Furniture is expensive. Let's be real. We can have a dream, but how do you change, you know, quickly or how do you try to transition? Also, try to dissect the photos. Go on Pinterest, dissect these photos. If you are more on this line, but want to be more like this, then try to figure out what is, is that's happening in here that you need to either edit from your home. One of our favorite words like editing, just look around your space and it's time to edit. Let's get some new stuff in here. Let's get rid of the stuff that maybe is not what we want, but we still kind of like, and we can get our dream living room. So let me catch up with y'all. So it says, um, too much farmhouse for me. Yeah, there's living rooms that, that living room is totally farmhouse, which is still cozy, but you know, and then what style was the living room? So this living room is farmhouse. That is farmhouse for sure. If you're resonating with that, it is farmhouse. Okay. This is probably everybody's dream. And some, I mean, again, the photos I'm showing you are probably pretty big houses, but that doesn't mean that you couldn't do that in a smaller home, even in an apartment. What we're looking at here is finishes. That's it. So this is a modern farmhouse right there, right? Cleaner, still black, still white, still wood you know not too much wood okay adding more of these bigger black pieces of furniture white couches you know lightening up the space like making it nice and light um this is a dream right now i want to show you oh before i move on to my two entryways here the other home style that I didn't, I saw some of it come up. I know Mara is a little bit combination of boho. I think everybody who added boho, give me a heart right now. Let me know. Because if you're boho and something else, that makes so much sense to me, right? Boho is everywhere right now. So boho is in farmhouse by bringing in some woven materials, bringing in tassels and pillows and throws. We have uh, even in transitional, there are some boho elements. Um, so, you know, maybe we're not bringing in the full thing like the woven tapestries, um, you know, all of the artwork that comes with being a boho style. Uh, maybe you guys don't have crystals everywhere. But in my home, for example, I still like a little bit of boho. What I decided to do was I was going to make my bedroom boho. Right, so it feels good that it's boho in there. Bring some woven materials. I have my crystals. I have some plants. Boho, you know, bring a lot of the plants in. Um, have tassels and woven materials. So I still wanted that, and I bring it in by little bits. Right, I have a blanket ladder, and I, you know, have tasseled throws in there. Bringing in some of that is completely okay because it's trending. You're going to see it everywhere. Yeah, Danny says my office is boho and I love it. And that's, if you have a home office, if you have a second bedroom in your own bedroom, maybe even like you don't wanna commit completely to boho, make a bathroom boho, make it nice and relaxing, put a candle on and boho out in your bathroom. You don't have to commit to it in a big space. So now that we got all of that out of the way, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to catch up. But I wanted to show you, we were able to successfully create a farmhouse entryway. Oh, this way. So right here, we have a gate. This farmhouse gate is has a more weathered wood. Um, and we added a wreath to it. That is a lamb's ear wreath, which I consider lamb's ear, you know, nice and like farmhouse look, it's cozy. Then I have this family sign in the white distress finish with wood in the bottom and a set of three distressed green candles. And this piece of furniture could be bigger. This is what I had available in the studio, but even with these woven baskets, it's a little bit more in the farmhouse look. Okay, it could be better, I will admit that. But 
this is a farmhouse entryway, what I could put together here in the studio. I do wanna say that the gate, the family and the candle holders are in the shop. We have created two collections today and um, both of those collections are going to be discounted. There's about 15 pieces or 13 pieces in each collection. One of them is farmhouse and one of them is modern farmhouse. Go ahead and check out both of them. Again, you don't have to play into one or the other. Go ahead and check them out. Now, this is my modern farmhouse. Now tell me, there was a difference there. I'm gonna do this quick little change. Farmhouse, modern farmhouse. What we see here are cleaner woods, lighter woods. Um, this wood does not have any weathered look a lot of black metal. So I have my family sign now with just the plain wood in the bottom, the black clean metal, and then black metal candle holders and a more modern piece of furniture that still has wood, but has a lot of metal in it. So let's do again, let's do farmhouse entryway is A, or you can put farmhouse Let's, let's, let's keep it simple. Let's do farmhouse and modern farmhouse as far as this con uh, particular styling. Let me know which one of these two are your favorites. Um, and maybe you're switching back and forth. Maybe you answered farmhouse in the very beginning of our conversation. And maybe you're, you know, wanna be modern farmhouse based on the photography that I showed you. And maybe now based on the product that I showed you from the deco created shop, you're back to farmhouse. That's okay. You know, we're all trying to figure it out here. So again, this family sign, this mirror that is supposed to be like a barn door, you know, barn door, that's still farmhouse, but it has a cleaner wood, cleaner metal, no weathered look, and the candle holders are also in the shop. So ah1120 uh, says, I would use both. And that works too. They should be interchangeable, right? Like these two should be able to work together. At the end of the day, they both have the word farmhouse in them. It's just deciding which one is more you. So I'm looking at some answers. Remember, let me know which one of the two stylings that I was able to put together here in the studio you like the most. So I see Debbie says, modern farmhouse because I like black metal and the light wood. And yeah, and that's definitely trending. So that's awesome. I see modern farmhouse. Ooh, interesting. I see a lot of modern farmhouse. So remember to answer one of these two entryways. Which one is your favorite? This is the modern farmhouse and this is the farmhouse. All right. Yeah, and yes, modern farmhouse has cleaner lines. Um, this has furniture with a little bit more detail. Okay, so again, we can follow rules, we can be um, purists, if you wanna say, of like one particular style. I know that I've decided for myself that I'm going to stick to mid-century modern furniture, uh, which makes my apartment look modern, but I still like vintage things. I still like brass, I still like wood. That's this color right here. So I'm gonna bring in trays and smaller accessories that are any home style. I don't care if I see it, I like it, I'm gonna bring it in. And those are the small investments, right? Those are things that we can turn around quickly, use a tray for a year and go ahead and change that. Um, I know my mother-in-law changes her home all the time. Anytime she goes to home goods, her home starts looking a little bit different. So. Um, that's okay too. Some of us are home decor addicts and we just love anything that comes out. We love the trends. We bring it in. Uh, but it's deciding how we transition to something that we dream of, how we do that slowly. Um, I recommend going on Pinterest, typing in what your inspirations are, and then doing it little by little, right? That it feels attainable. It feels like it's something anyone can do. So, <coughs> whoa. I'm talking a ton. Um, let me know if you love this episode. I am so excited that all of you joined. Uh, thank you for joining and thank you for participating and answering my questions. You guys have been super, super great. Like always, stay positive. 
Um, wait, hold on. I do have a comment. If you guys have any questions, throw them in before I leave. So it says, Sanders125, <coughs> she says, still leaning towards farmhouse because of lighter and more airy wood, woods, but I'm a fan of coastal. Yeah. <coughs> Home style that we did not talk about. Uh, more specific, coastal, all of the light and airy is inviting and the modern mirror uh, piece, whitewash. Yeah. Um, Danny says, love it. Thank you. We love for seeing live uh, Thursdays. Oh, yes. Please join us on Thursday. We're doing a hack of the winter items with Lynn Lily. Please uh, make sure you check that out. Um, and okay, back to my exit. Like always, thanks for joining. Stay positive and see you uh, next time. Bye everyone.